just imagine someone in the age bracket of 15 to 25 who wastes their time by watching Netflix and nonsense web series on internet and never learns any skills to survive in this AI driven world. Luckily, after some struggles, he got a job after his completion of his college. So he see some other guys around him buys cars and homes with loans. So he also stuck in the loop. So he brought a car with a loan of, for example, 1 million and uh, has a tenor about 10 years and sadly have to pay about uh, 2 million at the end of the time. So one day he got married luckily and uh, he had a beautiful wife. Now they struggles with bills, taxes, daily expenses and loans what they take in to for their enjoyment. He have to pay and uh, unfortunately or fortunately he had a baby. So the expenses are keeps on going and uh, the inflation rates keeps on increasing and these stuffs make them really hard to survive. So whatever it's maybe at the end of the time they got the paycheck and again they got the paycheck and everything is okay till sometime. And what if they got a hard medical bill and their life was like nothing and what if some recession happens or ongoing that time and he get laid off nothing can be predicted in future so planning future with some lifestyle changes like let's get started saving wealth by following this basic fundamental method 50 30 20 rule for example if you have a salary or any income from multiple sources whatever it may be let us consider it as a hundred percentage so you have to divide this into three parts first one 50 percent to needs second one 30 percent to wants third one 20 percent for savings for example 50 percent you allocate for needs so these needs which comes only for like example groceries stuff which you need to run your basic daily stuff or you we, you cannot live without those things all are come can comes under these uh need stuff so second one is 30 percent wants so for example wants are simply nothing but i want that phone i want iphone i want shoes like that so if you already have a phone already have a shoe if you really think you need you can go it but think before it uh, if you spend money on that you can't get back or maybe you buy those things by watching someone yeah, oh yeah, these guys have those things. Why not? I can buy because I getting salary like that, like him, like that. Don't get like those trap. You fall. So you can't impress others just now by sewing by your expenses or getting higher or taking loan something. Maybe it's okay for you right now, but uh, later you may feel too worse for your current decisions. So at least wait for 48 hours after your salary created think before you buy wait for 48 hours and you really need it you really want it go want it that thing and second one third one is savings 20 percent of your salary or income you must save this is for beginner level if you going on this process you may definitely increase the percentage of savings from 20 percent to 30 30 to 40 because you understand the compounding or the value of the wealth which you generate for the future for your kids or for you so maybe you think it's really hard time or maybe it's hard to save 20 percent at least try 10 percent this month and next month 15 like you have to try you have to sacrifice yourself for some stuff but don't sacrifice entire life sacrifice for the needs for the wants you don't really want just understand just sacrifice the wants which you really don't want okay you you can enjoy your life right now but later you may feel like why i made this decision by wasting my money and why not i make your wealth like that so to save 20 percent so this 20 percent goes like you have to divide this 20 percent savings into some multiple forms of savings for example uh, if you are indian or some eastern like uh, asian guy you can clearly save that 20 uh, percent from equities like uh, 20 like 50 percent to equities and 50 uh, percent to government bonds so these government bonds like uh, thing they give a passive income of eight percentage or seven percentage compound ratio so you can beat the inflation with this 
if you go for fixed deposit you have to get at least six percentage seven percentage and it can't beat the inflation rate so i suggest you to invest in go uh, like, like i mean uh, government bonds or equities so equities is too risky but uh, for the long term you can get better gains like at least uh, 12 percent is average for compounding so for example let me say inflation is the most bad enemy for all of us if we are creating wealth say for example now the value of these sunglasses is about 100 units for example the inflation rate is 10 percent is right now and next year 10 10 like that going on so after 7.5 years the inflation rate will be double like for example the value of these particles 100 units equals to 200 units in 7.5 years if the inflation rate goes on like uh, 10 percent every year so you can beat this inflation by investing in equities or government bonds if you got like a compound ratio interest so this is the thing like uh, every rich man get rich by investing in stocks or future funds only invest in stocks if you have a knowledge if you don't have any knowledge do not go there because it's too risky too volatility as the markets are too high now too high right now so the third one is you can also buy gold or assets like a uh, real estate uh, apartments like uh, buying a home but uh, think before buying any apartments or home because if you think you can afford it like you can go if you can't like uh, if you think you can buy apartment you can give rental and you get rental income from that then think before that not every time is your time maybe you spend more than that for the value of the apartment so think before going to the decision so and the most important thing in this world is you should also take out term insurance to protect your family in the event of your accidental death or disability imagine if you are suddenly disappeared or suddenly dead in any of the situation which maybe it's unpredictable what about your family what about your children what about your wife what about think about that so taking this term insurance in the lower price at the anger age is better when it comes to suffer at that age so take those cover like a calculate the inflation ratio and uh, think the better value and go for the plan maybe i'll explain in other videos even depth or you can search for the term insurance for your country or for your community in youtube so you can get clear idea about on it so again i also recommend you to take health insurance for your family so uh, i can't really explain that one medical bill away we are to get poor or debt so this is happened to my family too when i was 21 years like two years back my father has some fever or something illness came and suddenly we have to take him to the private sector hospital and they charged us about a thousand dollars for five days and we are like uh, so troubled like we don't have any work my father haven't done any work and that time we really face and uh, till now we are paying that one now almost i just paid that thing and uh, i have savings like little little maybe takes time but i will definitely save for my wealth or like uh, save for the future for my children or to my goals financial goals so i always recommend you to take health insurance for your family i just already taken those stuff for me and uh, planning to take for my family in next couple of months so you should really take health and term insurance so term insurance is only given for the salaried person but it's really hard to consider like that so another most disturbing stuff is emis emis makes you to buy anything in this world for example if you really want to buy iphone you can simply buy it with just small installments to get this cute little iphone but at the end of the time you understand that you are not what to buy that thing so just remember one thing if you are planning to buy anything with these emi options say for example if you brought a car for example if your salary is like uh, 100 units and the car value should be about 50 units 
so that you can get that car in EMI basis like uh, three to four years like that so do not buy if your salary is like uh, 100 units and if you buy that car with 200 units 300 units ultimately you will get in a debt trap in the long run maybe you can clear that in few years but uh, you can't save money for future you can't uh, really enjoy your financial freedom right now and future also so avoid these emis emi is the biggest scam of your wealth making you take any credit cards or emis you end up buying unnecessary products or costly products by seeing discounts like that so ultimately you may downfall your investment like 50 30 20 rule the investment of 20 percent is you have to do was become lower or sometimes maybe you end up uh, not saving this month or this year like that so ultimately your wealth will be going down for what the fuck is still this nonsense is going on with our parents or the culture what we live in get a job get a job get a children retire and settle what does this nonsense getting a job is not a settlement you know what happens uh, at the time when recession hits or layoffs or maybe we don't know what happens for the company or maybe what happens to future at least we should have multiple source of incomes to survive in this AI world and also we should at least have some business ideas or business investments or we have to invest our money to get some good corpus like uh, bonds like governments or like say mutual funds or whatever it may be uh, you have to do in a way like you get compound interest like that and uh, at the same time you have to make plans for your business or just end up this paycheck roll i always suggest you to go for business instead of getting this step maybe it's better idea to do a job for at least four to five years and later with that money you can try a business stuff and you will get succeed in one life one day remember one thing only you're the one who stays with you who will help for you who works for you who maintains you so no one will come for you to rescue you or to help you to give wealth or money for you only you the one works hard works gain wealth gain health and take care of your family so think before it get wealth by getting good mental ideology and make some investment plans to get good corpus in your future uh, in this channel we are going to discuss about these steps and uh, even more deeper ways in the upcoming videos so just give a thank like comment have a great day